So we have an equation right here that says negative 2y times the expression y squared plus cy minus 3 is equal to dy to the third plus 12y squared plus fy. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can figure out what the variables c, d, and f are. All right, so now let's work through it. So at first, this is could look kind of intimidating. We just have an equation. You're trying to figure out what these three variables are. How do you do it? And once one reasonable approach would be, let's just try to simplify what we have here on the left-hand side. And to simplify that, we can just distribute the negative 2y onto this polynomial, onto the y squared plus cy minus 3. And then we can set it equal to what we have here on the right. And let's see if we can match up coefficients. So let's distribute it. So first, we can think about what negative 2y times y squared is going to be. Negative 2y times y squared, well, that's going to be negative 2y to the third power. Because y to the first times y squared is y to the third power. All right. Now let's, distrib now let's multiply the negative 2y times cy. Well, that's going to be negative 2 times c. So negative 2c. And then you're going to have y times y, so negative 2cy squared. And then we would multiply the negative 2y times, we've got to keep in mind, this is a, we're subtracting 3 here. So we could view that as a negative 3. Negative 2y times negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And we still have that y over there. So there you have it. We have simplified the left-hand side of this equation. And now let's see if, let me just actually just write the right-hand side in different colors, and then things might jump out at us. So over here, I wrote this, the, the third degree term, the y to the third term. I wrote that in blue. So let me write the y to the third term here in blue as well. So d y to the third. And then I wrote the y squared term in magenta. So let me write the y squared term in magenta here. So plus 12 y squared. And then last but not least, I wrote the first degree term, this y term in green. So let me write the first degree term in green right over here. So plus fy. And when you see it like that, you see which terms match up which, which, with, which, with which terms match up to which other terms. So we could see that, look, I have the third degree term here. That has to match up to this third degree term there. So d, d needs to be equal to negative 2. So let's write that down. d is equal to negative 2. We can see the second degree term. The second degree term matches up to this second degree term right over there. So that tells us that this coefficient, the 12, must be equal to the negative 2c. So let's write that down. Negative 2c is equal to 12. To solve for c, we can divide both sides by negative 2, and we get c is equal to 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. And that makes sense. If c is negative 6, negative 2 times negative 6, or subtracting 2 times negative 6, is subtracting negative 12, which would be the same thing as adding 12. So that we, got, we would get the exact same coefficient for the second degree term. I think you see where this is going. Over here, we have a 6y on the first degree term. Here, we have an fy on the first degree term. This f must be the same thing, must be equal to the coefficient here. So f must be equal to 6. And we're done. And the key realization here is you, you match up the corresponding degree terms. There's no way that, well, I, I, I don't want to get too, too complex here. But the, the simplest way to address this is to realize, OK, I have a third degree term here. I have a third degree term here. Well, just if I look at it very simply, the, the way I'm going to get this third degree term here is using this third degree term. And I just look at the coefficients and say, OK, they must have the same coefficient. And then we, we, we say d is equal to negative 2. And then we keep doing that.